Come on in. Hi, Thomas. The house looks good. Yeah, I uh, cleaned up now. You guys are all coming over for dinner tonight. Hello, Thomas. It's so nice to meet you. I'm Sarah Helen, and I was hoping I could join you today to talk with you about what's been going on. Yeah, sure. I mean, have a seat, please. Thomas, we think it's time you overcome this problem of yours and get on with the rest of your life. You're at that age where you need to start making decisions for your own future, and we're sick of watching you waste away in here like this. I, I just thought you guys were here to have dinner. We are, but we want to take you out this time, to a nice restaurant. How does that sound? Well, I mean, if, if I go out there, there's, I mean, I could get sick or something. Can't we just eat here, please? No, Tommy. I want to take you to my favorite restaurant. It'd be fun. You just gotta get out there and do it, man. Can we please not do this today? I mean, we could try again another time, but not today. I mean, I, I just really don't want to deal with this. Well, hold on, Thomas. Let's just all be patient and let me have a few words. Thomas, the main reason I'm here today is to really try to understand your situation. I don't want to seem like any of us are here to attack you or to force you to do anything. We just want to have a better understanding is all. How does that sound? So let's all be calm, and you can really try to explain to us what has been going on. Yeah, well, there's, there's germs outside. I don't want them to get me sick. I see. I understand you got pretty sick as a child. Well, he had a poor immune system when he was young, but he's not a child anymore. That's true. Thomas, I'm a clinical psychiatrist and I'm medically trained, so this is coming from a professional. If we can all go out tonight, there's a very slim chance that you'll get sick, and it would be an incredible first step to overcoming your problem. Okay, look, I... You're gonna have to excuse me for a minute. I, I need some water. Tommy. Jamie, I, I can't do this today, man. I need you to go talk to them for me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with this. I do. Man the hell up and do it. We're all so sick of watching you waste your life being so scared to do anything. All right, bottom line, you're my brother. And I'm not gonna let you be like this. Jamie, there's, there's people out there, man. <laughs> They're waiting for me. I, I haven't told anyone yet, but I'm telling you now, man. They're just waiting for me to go outside. People out there waiting for you? Waiting for you to do what? Listen to yourself, Thomas. What the hell are you talking about, man?
I've lost it, haven't you? <clears throat> Thomas, are you okay? All right, listen. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this is not happening today. End of story. Son, please, listen to me. When I was a young man, I suffered from something very similar to you. I've been dealing with anemia for quite some time. And I felt that so I couldn't do anything a normal person would do. I was left behind. Just because I was too afraid that I wasn't good enough for the rest of the world. Son, I see myself in you. And I, I think you realize it more than you want to admit. But you've got to understand that it's time for you to take control of your life and not let your fear control your life. I did. Thomas, if we can show you that there's nothing to worry about, will you let us? We'll all be there with you, taking this first step, together. Anybody else see them out there? He's not going to do it. We've been through this a hundred times. You're not helping, Jamie. Oh, oh, you want to talk about not helping? All this talk isn't going anywhere. We've been talking and talking for years, and what good has it done? Stop yelling! Come on, everybody. He needs your positive energy now, not this. There's nobody out there! Stop acting like a fucking lunatic! Come on, Thomas. It's about time you start acting like a big boy, for Christ's sake. Everyone stop. Thomas, listen, you can overcome this. Let's just all get up and walk right on down to the mailbox. We'll just walk down the driveway and you can come right back inside after. We'll all be there with you. Is that okay? Okay, I've had enough. Virginia, no, please stop! No, no, I told you who was going on, you can't tell them about You know, it's not safe, you can't do this! Come on! Fresh air, Thomas. Isn't it refreshing? Thomas, this is the first step in you overcoming your fears. I'm so happy. Let's go to that restaurant now. Finally outside. Mommy, it's okay. Let's go to the car. Let's do this, man. 
doing out here, you're gonna get sick. <laughs>